everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of BrickLover18 Asks You. Last week here on the show, I asked you, if you could change one thing about my YouTube channel, what would it be and why? So I actually got a lot of comments on this one, and here were a few of my favorites. I'm sorry if I didn't read yours, I can't read everybody's. This one by 3 Brick Friends. Tough questions. Can't think of anything. This one by H2 Brick. You should do weekly vlogs just like A Fall Man, except do it about your store. Why? Because it would be very cool to see the different inventory and how you store it. Besides, that that your channel is as cool as can be. Thanks a lot for that comment. Um, I'm glad that you like my channel, and I've thought about doing an idea like this, but I'm not really sure if people subscribe to me because they want to see LEGO videos or because they want to hear about my store. I'm just afraid that a lot of people are really getting into Brick League selling and I just don't want to be one of those channels that absolutely shoves the fact that I have a Brick League store and you should buy from me down your throat because you know what, when people do that to me it's just annoying and I purposely don't want to buy from them. So that's why I haven't really done this. But I do have an alt channel, Brick Lover 18 Alt, where I upload all about my Brick Link store so if you do want to check that out I think that'd be a really good spot because there you only subscribe to me if you want to hear about my Brick Link store. Miniacs for Brick says, the only thing I would change is that your pace between speaking and the video cuts inside of videos. And then he mentions an example. I can see where this would happen. Um, sometimes, the problem is, especially in this video that he specifically mentioned, there was two problems with that. One, I this camera is weird. When I shake, when the camera's shaking, when the video starts, some grainy footage comes up at the start. So the problem is, I have to edit that part out or it'll show up in my YouTube videos. So sometimes, when, by the time I edit that part out, it's, I've already started speaking, so it's a little fast paced. Another reason this specific video could have been a little rough is because I actually, I filmed the video with two, two different time frames. The first part at the in one hour, and the second part in another hour, because I actually had to go for lunch in the middle of the video. And the problem is, when I came back from lunch, I forgot to turn my microphone back on. So all the video that you, all audio that you hear in the second part of that video was recorded after the fact. So I may have been trying to speed my voice up a little to get within the time clip that I have because it's a lot easier to film the audio when you're actually talking and showing the clip rather than you're filming afterwards. I find that really difficult. I also got this question by, or comment by Brendan Wong. I would add your videos to more playlists so people with certain interests can find your videos easier. You know, I really tried to do this but it's such a pain because now I have 700 videos or like yeah, 700 videos it's really a pain to try and go back so I'm probably gonna start doing that with my newer upload maybe I won't get to it with my other uploads I don't know that'll be a project that I really don't want to do thanks everybody for all your comments whether you just said I don't think you should change your channel at all to whether you actually gave me a comment suggestion or something like that I appreciate them all and you know what everybody gave constructive criticism whether you said I don't want you to change your channel or you should change it this way I really appreciated your feedback and for answering the question. And now for this week's question, what do you think about the new LEGO Dimensions game? Some things that I really would like you to consider in your comment were the price per game, which is 99 US dollars, the price per pack slash set, the little expansion packs that you can buy, which cost on average 15 to 25 US dollars. And of course, let me know about your idea on the thing itself. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it copying other video game companies? Do you think it's going to be a hit? So please, comment your thoughts down below, and I will try and read your answer in the next week, BrickLover18 asks you. Just remember again, I can't read everybody, so I read the ones that stand out to me the most. Thanks everybody for watching. Another episode of Brick Lover 18 asks you. And of course, if you have any suggestions for this video series, please just let me know down in the comments below. As well, if you want to get your shout out, don't forget to comment your thoughts on the question that I asked this week. And stay tuned for next week when I reveal the answers and ask another question. If you enjoyed this video by me, Brick Lover 18, don't forget to check out my LEGO YouTube channel where everything is all LEGO all the time. I post LEGO related videos. Thanks everybody for watching, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, comment on this video, and of course subscribe for more LEGO related videos. Thanks everybody for watching, have a great day.